author as you're reading the last volume of Emma. First, I'd like you to think about the character of Mrs. Elton. We were already introduced to her in volume two, um, but she becomes a more sort of significant character and a stronger presence within the novel in volume three. So I just want to know uh, what you think about her and what specific behaviors and mannerisms make her annoying. Uh, and also just I want you to consider how she treats other people and what that says about her as a character. I also want you to pay attention to how Emma behaves towards Mrs. Bates in volume three. Uh, there's a particular instance, especially when they take a picnic to Box Hill, where Emma behaves in such a way uh, that Mr. Knightley criticizes. So I want you to pay attention to that scene and especially pay attention to why Mr. Knightley disapproves of her treatment of Mrs. Bates. And then also think about how Emma responds to Mr. Knightley's critique and how she changes, if at all, after she has that conversation with Mr. Knightley. Third, I want you to pay attention to Emma's view of uh, Jane Fairfax. In volume two, I asked you to think about uh, how Emma feels about Jane Fairfax and why she doesn't really like Jane Fairfax. And as you're reading volume three, uh, I want you to pay attention to whether her view of Jane Fairfax and whether her attitude towards Jane Fairfax changes at all. And if so, uh, what makes her sort of rethink her attitude and her treatment of Jane? Number four, I also want you to pay attention to Emma and Mr. Knightley's relationship in volume three. As we talked about a little bit in discussion, at the beginning of the novel, um, they have this relationship that's sort of based on them being very old, sort of old friends and Mr. Knightley sort of speaking the truth to Emma, whether or not she wants to hear it. So I want you to see uh, whether that sort of continues in volume three uh, or if it sort of changes at all over the course of volume three. And then finally, uh, as you read this final chapter, or this final volume, and finish the novel, I want you to take a moment and think about whether your view of Emma has changed at all. Many of you found Emma to be an unsympathetic character at the beginning of the novel. So I want you to think about whether your opinion of her has changed uh, by the time you finish the novel. And then why has it changed or why hasn't it changed? So I hope that uh, this gives you a good starting point for things to consider as you read volume three, and I look forward to seeing what your thoughts on it are in discussion.